Right, this is going to be the first part of the tutorial series that we're going to do for characters in Blender and in relation to export to UB4. So, there's a very cool piece of software that I found literally not long ago called Make Human. So just search it on Google or go to www.makehuman.org. Now this is open source software. The guys have been working on it since 2001. Um, it's actually really, really classy considering the fact that it's open source and still nowhere feature complete. The guys are doing a really good job. Um, so if you end up using it, send the devs a message, giving them some support. Um, so basically it's just a really good way of um, creating a really quick just shape base for your character I mean you're not going to get photorealistic results straight out the box with this but it's really handy for just breaking down um, your main mesh um, ready to be imported to your sculpting tool where you can then go in there and really give it some class um, you know once you've got it into the the blender sculptor you can always bring in an image a photograph of a person and really go to town and make uh, the character rig a lot better uh, the character mesh a lot better but um you know if you have a look here you can see you can do you know from young children to old people you can do white people black people asian people um which is really really cool and every single part of it is customizable and it's all driven by just sliders so you can go in there and affect eyebrows or eyelashes or head shape or breast shape or body shape arm shape leg shape um, and also they're now moving into being able to do facial rigging as well it's all a uh, work in progress at the moment but um as this little video shows here um, they're doing quite a good job of it I haven't managed to play with this yet but it's on my to-do list I'm trying to put aside a couple of days to really start playing with the tools but this is within Blender you can see you can get some good results Excuse me, I'm just having a cigarette. And the cool thing about this rig, for the faces, it's one rig that fits up, so it'll work on any mesh. Once you've got your rig and your poses done, you'll be able to um, retarget that, re that over to different characters. So yes, yeah, so what you need to do is go and download this just come onto the page and click the download button but if you go onto the actual download page you can take a nightly build and get the source off a bit bucket um, download the the specific blender tools um, they're cool I've been starting to play with them but again I haven't done a video for that yet so um, that's on my to-do list uh, make target uh, which is a cool little tool for making morphs um, I suggest you download them all and just start reading up and playing with it and see what happens because what have you got to lose um, so yeah so come on here download that so uh, shut this down and then just you don't have to use an install package you can just drag and drop it from WinRAR or zip onto your desktop like I've done here uh, come in load it up Let's have a quick look. So as you can see on the left it's slider driven. So it goes to the left, fully woman in the middle, it's a bit of a mix. On the right you've got male mesh. Middle mouse button is uh, zoom in, zoom out. Right mouse button, it will do it but it will do it to a fixed point. Left mouse button, rotate. 
So at this point, you know, you could make him an older man, like so, or make him a baby. The way that the uh, base mesh has been constructed means that it's suitable for a male rig or a female rig. Um, they've done really well with the topology on that, but I think they're still doing a lot of work on it to to try and improve it even more. So you know, we could bring it to an old guy and bring his muscle tone down a bit so he f fattens up, or you could make him a bit more toned. Probably about there's about right. Bring his weight down, make him skinny. Bring his weight up, make him a bit fatter. If you re reduce the muscle, as you can see, you get a much bigger result. Proportions, so you can play around with that. Let's say, let's go about there. Reduce the agent a little bit. Bring Caucasian up a bit. do to start with and then you know you can come in here and affect all these different things um, let's bring these down a bit for some distance bring them soften them off a bit bring the volume up a little face, come in and play with all the different angles, age, so we could make him a bit more old in the face, give him a little bit more of an oval head, stop looking old guy, triangular a little bit, yeah about there we do. Also, so on the right hand side you've got all the different affecting parts, hips, stomach, buttocks, etc. Um, on the left you've got all the different effects you can use. At the top of the screen you've got these buttons that are really helpful. Symmetry R to left, symmetry L to right. Um, so when you're working on things like the arms and the legs, you can select one arm or one leg and then just copy what you set up on one side to the other side of the model. Um, again, you've got all these different options, your arms, legs, um, all the options over here. Um, at the top you've got geometry, so you can add clothing. There's not a big list at the moment, but considering it's open source, and there are tutorials on how to build your own assets within Blender, um, this should get a lot larger. I've already started doing a few bits that I'll put online for people for free. Um, as is the way. So we can put some jeans on him. And, uh, let's put a blender t-shirt on the dude. And you can see, you know, straight away, considering that you've not had to really do any modelling, you're starting to get a good idea. Um, you know, you could do this and make skinny characters, large characters. Try not to think of it in terms of trying to get it to a final product. You just want to get the base shape. And then you would import that into Blender and use the sculpt tool. Um, and then remodel a lot of this um, based off of photographs um, that match the general shape. Um, it's a really good way of doing it. You can end up with literally photo really realistic results within Blender if you put the sculpting time in um, and do it properly. Um, so what we could do now is just grab the guy's ears now. Let's uh, export him out. So on the left we've got the export types. You've got FBX, DAE, OBJ, um, the Blender Exchange format which is the one that we're going to use. Um, and then you've got different rig formats and stuff. On the right hand side I always uh, tick on export for Rigify which is the rigging tool within Blender and uh, scale units to centimetre. Um, then we go into export actually let's put the name in first rather 
So I've already done one, so let's do Fat Man too. Go save and export. So we've saved that out. Now, like I say, you could spend hours doing your characters in here. Um, but really, once you've got the, the main sort of shape you want done, um, it's as simple as that. So we can shut down Rigify now. So we close that. I'm not going to save it because it was rubbish. I need a demonstration. We now go into Blender 2.7. Uh, load it up. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Not needed. Now, when you're first coming into the Blender preferences, you're going to want to turn on Auto Run Python scripts if it isn't already on. Um, but the important part is within add-ons. So you want to have official and community selected. Um, if you just have official um, selected, Rigify won't show up in the list. Um, so if we come down to rigging, and then you would just click this little arrow here because it wouldn't be highlighted like it is yet. Do that, and then that's it. Rigify is now active within Blender. Um, I generally go into Import Export as well and turn on other features I want, like uh, motion capture formats. Um, but the most important one is coming in and turning on Import and Export Make Human. Um, save use user settings. Shut that down. Right, so if we now go to File, Import, Make Human, we go to our Make Human character, Exports, Make Human Fat Man 2, which is the one we've just done that was a bit rubbish. Actually, um, I'm not going to load that because one thing I forgot to show you in Make Human is that you can add your rig. It does it automatically and skins it, which I did earlier on on Fat Man Dude number one. Um, so if we load him up, okay, we zoom out. There, we've got our character straight out of Make Human straight into Blender. So I change some of these display settings quickly. Textured Metcap. Turn on Metcap. Just give me a little bit of something glossy. Yeah, that'll do. So at that point, I can just pull that out of the way. Uh, also within this setup down here, you've got all your um, settings for Make Human. So all of it's completely tweakable, playing with, uh, playable with, um, you know, you can save and import, um, you've got all your main rigging properties, you've got the layers um, nicely set out, so you've got head, torso, fingers, um, your root, it's actually a very nice little tool interface, considering it's open source, um, I could really see this in the future, give it a year or so, being a, a superb tool. Um, but you know, just to show what a good job Make Human and Blender has done, just as standard, um, let's just select, for example, now and press R, R on the keyboard for rotate, and we can rotate his head. You can see it does need a bit of work with the weighting, um, but that's only really because we've brought in clothing on top of the mesh, which is also been rigged to it. I wouldn't normally import the mesh with clothing on top already. It's a bit of a backwards way of uh, skinning and texturing. Um, I would generally bring the, the mesh in and take it through Blender Sculpt before anything. But I just wanted to show that it, you know, it can come straight in. It does a really, really good job. So if we press R again on different axes. No, 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 no. Don't buy expensive software. Use Blender. Um, you've got all your different rig controls. Let's go and check his hands out, make sure they've turned out all right. Let's come in and have a, a look in here. So, if select on the thumb, let's move that about. Oh, sorry, that's the whole hand. 
and go boom boom rotate it a different way nice 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 really good job it's done with the skinning just the standard and because it's a full IK rig um, you can see how it affects if we come down uh, here and you've got your finger again it's done a really good job with the skinning there very good so there you go no work at all got a fully rigged and skinned half decent looking character model already within blender like so you what you really would want to do is come in and really give it proper detail bring the mesh in subdivide the absolute shit out of it um, get some reference images in go in there and sculpt the face and any other parts that are really specific to what you want shown um, and then just really just use the same rigging system you can import the mesh directly back into make human and export it out so it automatically rigs and weights it as well to that to the new higher quality mesh but um, another cool thing that I will show in the tutorial that blender now has is cycles baking um, so I'd suggest doing a really high res sculpt of your character, um, doing a low res version, maybe using the direct mesh out of the engine, as long as the topology is not too much different, and just moving the verts around and using the sculpt tool to move things around to match up to your new high res sculpt you've done, and just bake over your normal data. Um, you don't want too many polys in your character mesh within the engine anyway. And to be honest, also the rig, it, it might well be a little bit overkill. Um, but it depends on what you want. You might want a really complex rig. Um, but we will also go through how you can um, export game rigs directly out of Make Human as well, which are a lot more simple. But you don't get the control um, that you really want. And this does a really good job. Um, so you know I personally would say it's done a pretty good job for straight out of the box and uh, the guy seems to like it he's putting his leg up in the air like an idiot right in the next tutorial we're going to take you through um, animating the character do walk cycles forward backwards left right jump um, and setting up the export tools within Blender to correctly export the bone systems to a format that UE4 can handle because there's issues as standard with characters coming out of Blender um, but I've been working on this for a couple of weeks and I've got characters working within the engine um, but it can be a bit hit and miss here and there but that's what we'll be moving on to next but um Again, you know, come and go and download Make Human. It's a brilliant little tool. Um, and you get fantastic results with it. And it's completely free. You know, and if you've got the, the will to, it's open source. So if you really want something else in there, um, just get your coding boots on. Anyway, right, cheers. We'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.